purpose, on purpose, purposeful. Be purposeful about it. When you got a burning desire, you create a big, bodacious goal for yourself. I'm watching, listening to Rico's story, that's everything he just did. He had a burning desire to wholesale and tap the market. He created a big, bodacious goal for himself. I'm going to the Xbox. So he was intentional about going to make it happen. That's the formula. Go be intentional. I don't want Jay Morrison here. Chris, I'm about to be intentional. Go make it happen. People ask me in real estate, well, yo, how do you find motivated sellers? How do you find motivated buyers? Go do it. <laughs> <laughs> Go be intentional, go do it. People are like, Jay, you know, how do you find an attorney? Or how do you find a real estate broker? I'm like, do you travel? Anybody here travel? Yes. What city you been to, King? Uh, Country, city, wherever. I've been to Spain. Okay, somebody else? Seattle. Seattle? Hawaii. Hawaii? Antigua Bay. Antigua Bay? Anybody else? South America. South America? Okay. Afghanistan. Afghanistan, okay. San Juan. San Juan, all right. So, when you're in these foreign lands you've never been to before, and you were hungry, did you eat? Yes. <laughs> did you? Yes. yes. How'd you find food? <laughs> Walked around, got lost. How'd you find food? You figured it out, didn't you? Google? You want to ask somebody? Hotel recommendation? I'm saying there's a million yeah, different yeah, ways you do it. Soup. You want to find a real estate broker? You want to ask me? Pretend you're hungry. Go find a broker. <laughs> you want to find motivated sellers? Well, where would motivated sellers be? Be intentional. Go find them. Now, obviously, we give you better strategies than that, but the point is, you don't got to rely on someone else to help you eat. If you got a burning desire, no one showed me how to do nothing that I'm doing. I mean, I have mentors and people that got me in the way. If I send a big picture of who I am, what I'm doing, there's no blueprint for this. I went and took action. Mm. I had big, bodacious, hairy goals. <laughs> and I was intentional about making them happen. So all you gotta do is be for real about it. Stop BSing yourself, stop pump faking. You know what I'm saying? Everyone write this down. Action beats ambition. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Action beats ambition. Can anybody tell me what ambition is? Drive. Drive, what else? Motivation. What's that? Motivation. Motivation, what else? Desire. 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 And the definition of ambition is having a strong desire. Oh. So you know what? Boy, I want to do some real estate. I mean, I want to flip some houses, Rico. I want to wholesale. I want to flip hair like my boy Mark Witten said. I'm a house, I'm a, I want to flip, flip, flip house with my hair on fire. <laughs> I want mad paper. Yeah. Mm, I want it. I want it. <laughs> I want it. I ain't going to leave this box, though. I want it. I want it. Come to your class and keep learning. I want it. I'm gonna play the video game. I want it. I'm gonna smoke this blunt. I want it. I'm gonna get my hair did. I want it. I'm gonna read this book. I want it. You want it? You are amb you are truly ambitious. I applaud you. <laughs> you more ambitious than me. But you are not intentional or purposeful about making nothing happen. Mm. No action. You all talk, you a good all talk, because you really mean it in your heart. You really, in your heart, do want what you say you want. You have a strong desire. You, you've accomplished that. You've met the ambition threshold. Congrats. <laughs> <laughs> you are officially ambitious. You can't cash no checks off ambition. It's the action. Mm. Chris could have wanted, he could have really wanted to meet you. I want to meet you my life! <laughs> Because what all you really wanted, you can want to you want to you want You gotta move. You gotta take action. 
And then in taking action, our last P, which has all the exclamation points behind all this, is you gotta persist. Because he could have went to Atlanta, and I could have not been so friendly and personal. He could have called me the wrong day, the wrong mood, or not been able to get to me. Or his flight could have got delayed. So then what? You back to ambitious again? What happens when you get the no in New York from the hedge funds? What happens when you get the next no? And your third no? What happens if you've got three felonies in three different states, but you want to go get into real estate? And everyone says you can't. Oh man, I can't get no real estate license, yo. <coughs> People want to inbox me all day. Jay, I've got felonies, I want to get into real estate. What should I do? Go take the goddamn test! <laughs> They said, I can't, but you know, somebody my, my boy said, ah. you looking for excuses to chill. Because you're not really about this life. You looking for somebody to co-sign and chill. Mm. If you really wanted it, you just go do it. When you people always, hey, all right, oh, hey Jay, I see you're in Memphis. When you coming to Nashville? When you coming to Chattanooga? When you coming to Arkansas? <laughs> what the hell? We're coming to 33 South 13th Street? I gotta come to your door? I know me when I wanted to connect at 16 years old. Let me tell you the truth. And see, I have to incorporate, and I apologize if this confuses or offends anyone. Not really, I don't apologize. I'm saying it because you're correct. <laughs> but I do use a lot of my former life stories, drug stories, because I have 10 years, I have 11 years in real estate in my life, and I have 10 years in my life as a dope boy. So all my experiences come from those two experiences. I can't tell you no college stories. I don't have those. Jail was my college. The streets of my university. So I remember being on my block, and I was working for different guys, making my 60-40 split. I would get 40%, they would get 60. Then I'll play dice and lose it all and I have to go back. So I was working for different guys in the corner. 